Chapter 10, A Little Bit Magic. Flea took his own advice. He ran as fast as he could out of the apartment, across the entrance hall, past the doorway, through the courtyard, around the gate, and onto the safety of the big wide sidewalk outside. But David did not follow him. Flea was not sure what to do. He was here, and Diva was there. Did Diva need rescuing? If so, Flea knew he was the only cat between Diva, a pair of feet, and a broom. So Flea returned. Inside, he saw Diva still sitting and smiling right next to the pair of feet and the broom. Wow, thought Flea. Diva really is brave. Suddenly, the feet began to move. Suddenly, the broom began to move. Flea's eyes grew wide, but the broom did not swing at him. Instead, it began to swish back and forth in a kind of sweeping motion, as if it wasn't concerned about Flea in the least. Don't worry about that broom, said Diva calmly. That's a nice broom. It belongs to Eva. She's the Galdzien, and she lives here with me. Flea had no idea what a Galdzien was, but he was pretty sure Eva was a human-type person. Flea had seen people and dogs take walks together in the park, but he had never imagined that they could live together. Everything inside this apartment was so odd. Let me show you something, said Diva. As she walked right past Eva's feet and the sweeping broom, Flea bravely followed her to a corner where he saw a bowl filled with something. This, Diva said happily, is breakfast. At first, Flea was disappointed. Diva's friend did not seem very interesting. Then he noticed a particularly delicious smell. Food, he said. It's food. Food was his very favorite thing, next to Diva, that is. Have some, invited Diva. Flea had eaten food in the morning before, but he had never seen food just sitting there waiting to be eaten. He took a big bite and then another and then another without ever once looking over his shoulder or having to quickly scamper away. The inside of 11 Avenue Le Play may be weird, said Flea, with a mouthful of breakfast, but it is also a little bit magic.